that it promises to be a really challenging day. We have some really unpredictable weather coming, possibility of rain by noon and or snow. It's still below freezing, so that probably means we're going to see some snow. But I do have a couple hours this morning while the weather is, well, well I always say it's either paintable or not paintable. I think I have a small window of paintability here. And this time of year, the most important thing for me is to schedule work around the idea that there's only so many hours of paintable time outside that it's reasonable to paint, and I try to use them efficiently. Now, if we had access to a spray booth or some kind of inside place where it would be heated or we lived in a warm weather climate, of course, we'd plan around that. But as it is now, we plan around what we have. We go to war with the army we have. And every one of these restorations was done exactly the same way, working around the weather. And actually, that's part of it, what makes it interesting, what makes it challenging, and what I enjoy about it. I would never want to live a life where every day is the same as the day before, like a Groundhog Day. And our current ninja project may be the most challenging of all, because I've got some ideas on this. As this is unfolding, it's taken on a life of its own, and I even have ideas I didn't have in the beginning when I started this. Now, I want to congratulate my friend Scott out in Kansas. He went, to, it looks like he spent a thousand dollars at Harbor Freight. He set himself up a shop. I incorrectly said that he was going to restore his Ninja. He's got a Ninja and a GS. He's going to be restoring his GS. So, Scott, my apologies. See, this is what I have to deal with, too. See all the leaves in the bottom of the pond? Now, before the pond will freeze, the pond will be freezing over probably in the next couple of days, because we're way below freezing here. But I have to keep the leaves out of the pond. So it always gives me a little bit of exercise every morning. Gets me warmed up for having my coffee. And as I look at the sky, it is definitely, it is definitely not a riding day, that's for sure. This is the best part of the morning when I can hang up the coat from being outside and go have that warm coffee. Oh, am I ready for that coffee. So in trying to plan out a day, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult today because I, I want to paint while it's paintable. Then I have, if I do have some time, I have these lettering things to work on. John has, I got an envelope from John. Actually, I got a box from Scott too here. And today's the day my radar detector parts the wire, the special wire that you need, and they, pfft, but what a pain in the neck that has been. Now, if this were the riding season, I would have lost riding time, but because it's basically below freezing, we didn't lose much. And the main thing is we have parts that have been drying overnight, and they're ready to paint. So I've got to see if there's any flaws I want to fix in these, and I think some of them did have some little flaws. In which case we'll do that but the first thing i wanted to do is these two big parts that the sides of the seat i wanted to get them in black because those are the parts i want them to dry overnight before i can do the gold trim and if it rains i have parts to buff that's the whole idea of leapfrogging always have a part ready to buff a part ready to sand a part ready to do bondo work whatever just being able to flip flop and always use the weather to your advantage Two more parts that still need to be sanded and primed. So we have a nice variety. Actually, we have a nice mix of stuff to do today. This will be a, this will be an interesting day. And overall, I think we're going to be able to use use the day efficiently. When we're all done, we'll have something we'll have something hanging up by the heating vent. Always the goal. So I start off the day here. I open up a package. It's from Scott. This is from his old business, Starkey. Wood rights, what old trees look forward to. That's a great t-shirt. Too bad it's not t-shirt wearing weather. I'd wear it on a video. Now, Scott also sent some things, and he's a woodworker, so he knows. And, of course, when I was modeling, I used these virtually every day. These, a little bit less, but they still have a use. These are all beauty supply things, and this is like a, uh, I don't know what you would, what you, a nail buffer. But... What these are really wonderful for it is places when you're shaping Bondo and sanding. These are so useful. I'm going to take these out of the package. I'm, we may even use these today if we get to do the Bondo on that tail section. Now this is a thing from John Pothy that came in today's mail. And it's, I'm going to try to do this 
and I'm going to try to improvise if necessary. I'm missing one element of this. There's, there's a thing Karen has to find for me if we don't buy it in a store. But this would be one of the things. Now we're going to have rainy and snowy days, and I'll experiment maybe on a piece of glass or something to see how that's going to work out. But this is a new thing, and whenever I do a new thing, I like to go step by step and put it on video and see how it works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. So step one today, before it starts raining or snowing, fire up that world's loudest compressor. So, and by the way, Luciano just French fried his compressor after 20 years. Got to go with the Harbor Freight compressor. And all of that's going to dry up overnight before I do anything with it. I've got two choices here, I guess, because it's still paintable out there, I had to sand and get these primed. That would be the next productive thing. Hey, just like yesterday, we have some 600 Indasa sandpaper, and I'm going to wet sand these down as, as good as I can. See, I, I always talk about how to use time efficiently because my time is limited. And people that uh, may watch the video and may think, oh, he's got all day to do that. No, no, no not really. In fact, right now, Carrot is baking a cake. <laughs> We're cooking. That, that uh, chili is still uh, got to be sorted out and put in containers. And there's a lot of things to do. And, of course, the big one, my pond. I've got to clean that pond today. So, But if I can get all this stuff painted today, wow, I will really feel like, uh, well... As we come into the holiday season, we're spending a little time every day decorating the house and running trains and setting the house on fire. That's usually a good one. Calling a fire department. <laughs> anyway, just like yesterday, these parts, and I'm glad I steam cleaned them. I don't have to fire up the steam cleaner again, but oh, we show one in real time. That's what we're looking for when the whole part is like that. We're ready to go out, and if it's not raining or snowing, we'll get a coat of prime on. Uh, it must be our lucky day. It hasn't started raining yet. Oh, we can get a coat of primer on this. And if we, if it holds out, you never know what it's going to hold out. They said it was going to be a rainy mix. They're always wrong anyway. But then I'm wrong too, so it's a tie. When it's this tempered now, that heating vent, it just never backs off. So our parts are getting cooked better than I thought they would. Well, we have one more to go here. See, the whole objective is to get the paint drying. Because once that paint's drying, if there's any time left over, if we're not decorating later today or whatever Karen has to do, I can be doing a Bondo work on this. I can actually use those nail files that Scott sent. So... We have uh, a nice little, I don't know, little protocol going here. I hope this all plays out. Uh, the longer it doesn't rain, the better. Or snow, even worse. And it's just time consuming sanding these parts over and over, but in the end, we win. It took me all morning to make this cake, all morning. I wasn't painting, I was making a cake. Oh, Christmas season in this house. Ah, oh, smells better than lack of thinners.
it really does smell amazing in here. If you only, if you could only put smell on video. <laughs> Not sure you want to smell the lack of thinner though. But anyway, I'm go I'm trying to uh, do this as efficiently as possible without rushing, of course, without skipping steps, because it still hasn't, it still hasn't shown its ugly head. I still haven't had to get the snow blower out of the shed either. Oh, the smell of that cake is unbelievable. And I, I like it. I definitely like it more than lack of thinners. <laughs> uh, Karen is in mode. She's in Christmas mode. And we're going to be decorating the house this afternoon some. Well, I don't think I got done <laughs> putting the primer on this. And two minutes later, I heard the raindrops on the air conditioner. Now, we're very lucky. It's just above freezing by a few degrees. Or this would be... They said a wintry mix, this would be snow. And one thing good about rain, you don't have to shovel rain. So the leapfrogging worked in our advantage today. It really did, it worked for baking cakes too. We got, we got a cake baked. We got all our parts sanded and painted. Wow. This was this. it's amazing that we beat the rain. Or the snow. So step one on this part, I've got to smooth this all out to the point that I can put, I need to get some Bondo in there. I really don't need to build this ridge up, but I may as well as long as I'm going to have the, the Bondo there. And then I need to get this all back in shape. This is the only part you see, but I want to have this that when you pick the seat up, as long as I'm doing this, you don't see a, an ugly thing there. So the first step is, of course, wet sand it all down with 600. So what's happened is our rain has turned to freezing rain, which has turned to sleet of some kind. So, boy, did we luck out today. I think I'm going to bake another cake. And there's no secret about doing this. This is going to take, the Bondo takes the, uh, because it's raining, we can't do it outside. It takes... One of the things that annoys Karen is the smell, of course. It annoys me too, but I seem a little more willing to deal with it. But because we have the smell of cake in a house, we, we may be able to uh, mask over the fact that we're going to use about a spoonful of, half a spoonful of Bondo here. Now we have had such good luck with this product. It's the 4CR Bondo 2100. It mixes just like ordinary Bondo. It's fiber filled. It sands like butter and it stinks so bad you can't even smell the cake. Now, if you've never used Bondo before, one of the things that can happen is the catalyst will tend to get oily at the top and, and do what it's supposed to do at the bottom. I like to, if you're wrong with the catalyst, put a little less than a little more. It'll just take longer to dry, but it'll eventually dry. It just takes a little bit longer now. This is this is one of the things, you know, you really have to stir this up. It's like any other any other bondo. It doesn't really matter. Since we're using such a small amount, it's not a big deal right now. We'll just mix it up. Put it up by the heating vent, go have a cup of coffee, and when we get back, should be ready to sand. And I got a couple other little spots that I'm gonna work on. You don't even have to worry about trying to make this pretty or cute or anything because it does sand very easily. Very easily, in fact. I wanted to, and I guess there's no reason to make that piece in the back. You don't really see it. I'm, I'm not sure why I wanted to do that. A lot of times I'm confused. Anyway, don't have to worry about making a fancy. This sand's so easy, it's ridiculous. I want to get the other two parts, just put a drop on. And these are, these are just things that I noticed that I can make this a little bit nicer in the long run. And it's not a big deal if I didn't do this, but I always think we got, we got a snowy, rainy day. We may as well use it to our advantage. And obviously, the, the beautiful part about leapfrogging now is if we had, if we had set up the day so that we were going to paint at the end of the day, we, we're, this would be the end of the day right now where it isn't. 
I'm going to go bake another cake or something. Or Karen's going to do the decorating or we're going to sand. It stops raining. We may even be able to do something else. But leapfrogging is such a good way to work when you work by yourself in, a, in an environment like I work, a non-professional environment. It just makes a lot of sense. So tell me, this was yesterday's haul we made chili. How much chili is here all together? About 28 pounds. 28 pounds of chili. Oh my... Luciano, you'd be so hungry if you smelled what this, this chili smells like. Woo so this is the time of year Karen and I spend an awful lot of time decorating. And it's not only putting up a tree, there's a lot of stuff to be decorated. Karen enjoys tablescapes and we have about 10 little trees at various spots in the house. And boy, to show off her doll collection. And a lot of these dolls she made herself. One thing Miles loves. He loves these soldiers, the Nutcrackers. This is one of his favorite things of Christmas. And we even have the mirrors decorated. It's, it's like a bed and breakfast here. This is Karen's dream come true. Actually, it's my dream come true. And of course, she's even got pillows for every occasion and flowers from Costa Rica. So what's not to like? I hope you're having as good and festive of a holiday season. I enjoy putting this stuff up. I don't know what I'm crying about. And all this while Bondo is drying. Can you imagine the fun? How else, how else can you enjoy Bondo drying so much? Anyway, we really had a good afternoon here. This really was, and I think the only thing left, we got to finish the tree. And we'll do that tomorrow. So the way this day played out, we didn't, we didn't really win. It's still snowing out there or hailing or whatever the hell it is. But anyway, we did get some work done. We got a lot of work done on the house. We're ready to uh, finish the Christmas tree in the next couple days. Ready to bake some more cakes, some more cookies. And I hope your holiday season is just as much fun as ours is. We really enjoy sharing our holiday with you through the videos. And thanks for watching.